Welcome back. We'll get to that breaking news right there on your screen. A sad update from Heavenly. A skier has been killed at Heavenly. We're going to confirm just how they died, but we do know the victim was from New York. He was pronounced dead at a ski lodge. Apparently this happened yesterday. We'll have more details as soon as they come in. Now at 530, the severe winter storms pulling parts of California out of the drought. But while reservoirs are being refilled, the state's groundwater is still running low. Thanks so much for staying with us at 530. I'm Elizabeth Kling and I'm Tony Lopez. CBS 13's Tori Abadaka is getting answers on the low groundwater levels and what the state is doing, Tori, to recharge them. That's right. The rain and snow has been promising for at least the here and now. But water experts say it will still take years before we are fully recovered. The sound of snow falling in the Sierra, a sign of healing for our water supply. It's going to mean more water allocations for cities and for growers this year. But if we are hit with another dry spell, we're very quickly back to where we were last year and the year before last year. Take a look at this U.S. drought monitor map. Most of the state in extreme drought just three months ago. Fast forward to today, every county is out of the red. But water experts say not so fast. We're still far behind in catching up with refilling our aquifers, which we rely on tremendously in our water supply here in the state. San Joaquin almond farmer David Fippen says he only pumps groundwater as a last resort. Instead, his farm gets water from the Stanislaus River. He tells me thanks to the wet weather, he'll have enough surface water for his crops this year. It means we won't have to rely on those wells that I thought that uh, that was always our backup. If we can't get uh, irrigation district water, we would use well water. The DWR determined Thursday that six Central Valley subbasins are still in overdraft and need to fix their sustainability plans before the state steps in with its own restrictive measures. Pumpers will have to get meters onto their wells and they will be charged for the water that they are extracting. You know, they may not be able to farm it at some point or they'll have to farm dry land crops, which would have very low values. The overdrafted subbasins need to look at the connection between groundwater and surface water, plus make a plan that prevents wells from running dry. And one of the six subbasins that needs to fix its groundwater sustainability plan is partially located in San Joaquin, Stanislaus, and Merced. The subbasin still has over a year before the state would step in and make its own changes. Yeah, it's a complicated process, that's for sure. Thanks for breaking it down, Tori. Thank you.